Hello everyone, it is great to be back on YouTube. I have been going live on my Facebook business page. I literally went live every day in, in the month of October because the month of October was actually the Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So I went live every day on my Facebook page to talk about different signs of an abuser. How do you recognize if you are living with an abuser or not? So that's why I haven't been active on YouTube because that took a lot of my time. So I um, gave myself a little break after that. And I'm glad to say I'm back, back to YouTube. So the first sign I discussed was the dominator. So I will be posting all the videos that I have made so far on this topic onto YouTube. Please stay tuned and listen as I come on next to discuss about the signs of an abuser. How do you recognize the signs? Stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. Take care now. I am a family and relationship coach. What I do here is I help families resolve conflict. Conflict that may arise either in their personal lives or professional lives. Okay, so that's what I do as a life coach. However, this month of October, this month of October is um, the Domestic Violence Awareness Month 2020. Okay, so I'll be re referring to domestic violence as DV, okay, for short. So October is the DV Awareness Month. So I thought this is something families go through. As a family and relationship coach, my aim or my objective is to ensure that families you know, foster healthy relationships in the family. All right, so what can you do to foster a healthy relationship? What can you do to ensure that you are going into the right relationship if you are still single? So since it's um, Domestic Violence Awareness Month, I thought it would be nice to come on here and talk to us about signs. You know, how do you recognize these signs? How do you know when you see it? Yeah. And there's the misconception that women are the only ones who go through this. That's not right. Men also, well, few, fewer than women also experience this occasionally. All right. So recognizing the signs, these signs can be either in the male or female. Before I get started with the signs, I'm going to read some statistics. Okay, I did some research and came up with these statistics from the Office for National Statistics. Okay, I'm going to be reading it out. It says, almost one in three women, one in three women aged 16 to 59 will experience DV in her lifetime. Okay, almost one in three women. That's a lot, one in three. And the second statistics I came up with here says, two women a week, two women a week are killed either by a current or former partner in England and Wales. Two women a week. Okay. And this was a 2019 statistic. Okay. And in March 2019, 1.6 million women experienced DV. Compared to, now, in 2018-2019, 16 men were killed due to DV. Compared to 80 women, okay? So 16 men were killed, while 80 women were killed due to DV. Okay? This was taken from the Mankind Initiative website all right where it says 16 where it's compared the number of men and women that have been killed due to dv 
that was taken from the mankind initiative website so this is this this is wrong and shouldn't be shouldn't be going on how do you recognize the signs how do you keep yourself safe from all this a few years ago i read a book and that book enlightened me you know it opened my eyes a lot it um, explained the different types of abusers out there either in male or female okay so we shouldn't have that misconception that it's only men women can also have these traits right so i'm going to be explaining these traits and in your own life whatever you do you need to look out for these things and if you are still single that is the right time take your time don't rush into any relationship take your time understand the person this person you are thinking about going into a relationship with okay understand them make sure they understand you in order to avoid um, problems or issues later in your future this is the best time there's no need to rush don't feel that um, you're under pressure by anyone by society family your culture or anything because it is a lifetime thing it is a lifetime relationship so take your time understand this person make sure they understand you too in order to avoid all these problems that may arise later now oftentimes when they are asked like the perpetrators the people who actually do you know the violence and all, all of that when they are asked why why are you doing this they give different reasons like you know no job maybe they, they had lost their jobs or they were drunk or just something like insecurity they were just being insecure probably they have a woman who is ambitious and all of that and insecurity came up as a result yeah they give different reasons and all these reasons i must tell you are excuses there is no reason why anyone should lift their hands on another there's really no reason if you are drunk sleep it off if you are insecure because of someone's ambitions go out there and get yourself a job there's nothing stopping you there's nothing stopping anyone from going out there and sorting themselves out instead of taking it out on the innocent person the partner so all those are excuses sometimes they use um, different tactics manipulation they manipulate you and if that doesn't work then the violence comes in to you know it's kind of a control kind of thing to control you to make sure you are on that and, make, and so that that's where they feel like they are you know the head they're on top and they have you as a subject yeah so and then sometimes this instills fear in the victim okay so the victim becomes scared and they feel like they're alone and there's no one that would understand if they were to share their story so i'm here to let you know that look you're not alone you must feel free to share look for somebody you trust because your life is more important if you live with someone who controls you manipulates you uses fear and all of that that person that person is tagged as a dominator they're trying to dominate you to make you feel small yeah they are called the dominator so i came across this all these terms so many years ago i think to about 2006 2007 thereabout and this has stuck with me ever since and because it's domestic violence awareness month in 2020 this is why not why don't i share and i am a family and relationship coach so it is the right time to share so i'm going to read the signs of this dominator to you you may have one around you so if you notice it then you know that yes this person is an abuser so they may use they may say they are the head of the home 
and everything must be done accordingly you know they want to be treated special you know differently from everyone else they may bully you call you all sorts of names and all of that you know they may shout so sometimes they smash things they throw things around the place you know things that they may be bad parents they may not be good fathers or mothers to their children yeah and they lie they lie a lot to cover up things that they may have done they may lie often often telling lies when you when you ask simple questions the next thing that follows is a lie you know just to cover up whatever it was you're asking about and they, are, they have very good persuasive skills okay you, you say something, maybe you're talking, you're communicating, and the way they go about whatever it is they're saying is so persuasive to the extent that you don't even know what else to say because he starts to tell you things like, he, or she says things like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I love you, and they, they start to use words like that. And before you know it, you're like, okay, um, you know, maybe it's, it's, you even start to think maybe it's you, maybe it's your fault. You know they are genuinely sorry anyway then you let it go again okay they use words to put you down they may say things like talk about your weight the way you look you know your body image you, you are fat or you're ugly they use words to belittle you because they want you to have a low self-esteem because when you have a low self-esteem it makes them feel like yes you know make them feel on top like they are the head because now they've succeeded in putting you down okay and more signs another sign is that they may stop you from going to work they may say no you don't have to work why do you want to work i've got it covered you know they have it all covered and or you can just stay at home take care of the children or just do things around the children you know so they stop you. They stop you from seeing your friends, your family. They're not happy when you you, you have a social life, when you have friends, uh, family around, you know, always asking after you and things like that. They don't like it. These signs are signs of somebody who is a dominator. They want to dominate you at all times, okay? And unfortunately, Sometimes these abusers go to the extent of raping. Yes, they may they go forcefully and everything like that. So I've listed about eight signs here for you to understand who the, um, the dominator is. So if you have anyone around you, okay, that is that lies often that wants to control you, wants to make sure you don't have close family and friends around you, uses words to put you down, always saying they are sorry, you know, they beg, and, you know, you, you say you are fed up and they start to beg, they go on the floor, they call people, they, they call friends, people you, they know you respect to talk to you and all of that. That person is a dominator. And if you're in a relationship where you're always feeling down and feel you feel like you need to, you know, go over and above to please this person, then you are being controlled. You are being controlled. So if you're married already, these are some signs to start to watch out for. However, if you're single, these are signs to look out for in your relationship as well. To make sure you are not going into something that later on you would wonder, how did you get into this? You start to ask yourself, how did I get into this? What happened? You know, we dated for how many years? Whatever years, two years, three years. How come I didn't see this? You know, the signs are always there from the beginning. Okay. Many people have closed their eyes like, no, they will change. You know, I will work on them. Some people, some feel, I'll, you know, when they are still starting and they start to notice these things, they say, oh, they will change. They will change. I know what to do. They will change. And then you find yourself, you get into it one year, two years, three years, 
five years, 10 years, this person still hasn't changed. And on top of that, you are getting depressed, miserable. Why do you want to carry on like that? Your life is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. So to foster a healthy relationship, if you are the perpetrator, this is something that has to be stopped. It has to be stopped. Okay, you can go out there, seek help. There is help out there for you. There is help out there for you. Don't put um, other people through this. Because emotionally, mentally, psychologically, in every way, even physically, it starts to affect them. Don't put other people through this. Don't make them a victim. To the extent that they now do not want to go out, they don't want to people, other people to know because they are ashamed. There is help out there for you. You can go out and seek help. You can, if you are married already, you can seek help as a couple. You can seek help, help as a couple. Okay? The ultimate decision, whether to stay or go, lies with the individual. So I work with families. If you are going through any of this and you want to have a chat, I have a 30 minutes free consultation. You can come and let's talk. Let's see how we can you can be helped with tools and strategies to help you get over this situation. Like I said earlier, the ultimate decision whether to stay or leave belongs to the individuals in this relationship. No one can make that decision for you. All right. So this is day one and we have covered one sign that's of the dominator tomorrow i'll be coming on again about this time so do join me and please share this video because there are so many people that need to know this information it will definitely help them both male and female and the young ones are out there as well who are still trying to find their own helpmate do share let us learn together and save lives take care now thanks for watching bye